Hi everyone, here I am still traveling, but I wanted to do the edit for part two because uh, otherwise things will get away with me when I get home. So uh, in this part, I'm going to show you how to develop the clouds and get some nice volume and color into them and then block in the rest of the landscape. So let's get going with that. Again, ready to go. Um, I've got all the pastels set out there. They're my little boxes of traveling pastels. Um, I think I can fit about 120 in those eight little tins. And here is my underpainting that we just did. Um, and now it's time to start popping in the color. I'm going to start with the sky and work my way down. Um, one thing that is bothering me is I think I've put that a little bit too high because it's nearly half and half. It's a little bit less, so maybe I'll leave it there. We'll just see how that goes. Um, I'm going to start, some of these are dirty because they're all lumped in together, but I am going to start with um, putting in some sky and just really thinking about the value rather than anything much else at this stage. And just putting in some light blues around the clouds there. I'm going to add in another one. Not that one though. It's hard to see when this is my light box. Maybe I'll go for a blue out of that's not in my light box. And do a little bit of that's probably a bit better value. If I want to lighten it off a bit, I'll use one of my lights. Now the one thing that can happen with this um with these baby wipes, if you press too hard, you see I'm getting a little bit of fluff off them, so a good idea is to wipe it down before you start, which I didn't do, just to get any of the baby wipe fluff off there. And there's quite a lot on this one. I don't usually get that much, I think it's the grit holding it on. It's not my usual gritted board, so it's just my travel one. Anyway. I've got most of it off now, and I can take anything else off as we go. So I'm just getting the sky in there, just using some different blues. Um, sometimes I like to put a little bit of aqua in the sky as well. And those clouds for a light edge. can work really well in this, the sky. And I'm not worrying too much. Without covering up all that underpainting, I want it to show through to give us a little bit of keep a little bit lighter there, a little bit of um, variation in with some warm coming through. So that's going to be my clouds. Just keeping it nice and simple. Now I'm uh, I'll leave those out just there so you can see the colours that I've used for the sky, uh, and I'm going to start on the clouds now. I will start um, with the darks. Uh, I've got that dark underpainting in. I want to put in some sort of dark blues there. So I'm just scrumbling a bit of blue over the areas that I want to be dark. And I'm not really going to worry about getting it exactly like my reference because you saw what I'd done with my reference. I I used two different ones, so I'm just getting the ideas around here. That's going to be a little bit dark around there because that's going to be the edge of a white cloud, so I want that a bit darker. So that's my cloud. Uh, I'm going to put in some different blues. And I'm going to go for some purples out of my purple box. I'll also be using some of the lighter purples. So here, these will be the, the sky purples that I'm using there. Just put some of those colors there. And I, as I move up into the upper areas of cloud, I'm using some lighter colors. I'm going for purple, so I haven't moved into the white yet, you can tell that. I'm just using lighter purples. 
comes a bit more of that baby wipe. And I'm just dragging it across. I'm not pressing hard at this stage. So these are the cloud color, cover, colors coming in. Let's try a little bit of this greeny blue as well. I'm going to be starting now with some of the lights that I'm putting into the cloud. So here we go. that as well. This is the main body of the lights up here. And scrumbling it over there. This helps to mix the colours up. It's not leaving any hard edges. And it's mixing up the colours. Put some warmer colours in that as well. This is sort of a pink colour. That'll contrast with the, the real darks there. You can see if I press too hard, I'm clogging up the edge of the paper. If I get too much on there, I just give it a little tap. Come back again with it cleaned up a bit. So. They're the sets of lights that I'm using for the clouds. I want a really white one, and I'm just looking to see where my little nubby bit of white is. Here's some white. Just clean it off and make sure it is white. You could put rice in this as well, but I don't like bringing rice when they ask you if you've got food and <laughs> coming through customs, it can be tricky, so. I don't really pack them in rice for travelling. So now I'm just edging off some of these clouds with some sharper edges with the white. But not using very much white at all. Just for some edges. The most light struck edges. It's all about trying to create a little bit of volume by having the lights and the darks. So I'm, I'm creating these areas of shadow and light, which gives the whole thing volume. It's a real this this part's a lot of fun because you can really mix up those colours and just think about the values that you're putting in there. I'm fairly happy with those, oh, except this area over here, I'm not very happy with that. So I'm going to make that cloud blossom out a bit there. So I can also do a little bit of blending with my finger if I want, but I don't really need to do much. What I'm just doing here is patting in any areas where the dust is not um, sitting, not pressing in. I could blend the, the sky just a slight amount with my finger, not too much, just a little bit. Just pressing with my finger, gently dabbing on area, any areas where there's some stray pastel dust just sitting up there. And that's the clouds done. I may come back in and give a few more tweaks to it later on. But So there you go. That's the clouds. Later on I'll be coming back and giving them a little bit more of sunlit highlights. And we'll see that um, in a later session. If you are on Patreon, you'll be able to see the lesson notes. And I've put some still shots in there from the video as well to try and describe. Hi everyone. Here I am still traveling, but I wanted to do the edit for part two because 
otherwise things will get away with me when I get home. So uh, in this part I'm going to show you how to develop the clouds and get some nice volume and colour into them and then block in the rest of the landscape.